Welcome back to the metronome. I'm Savan. This is my song blog where I write and sing my original songs about travels, recipes, and basically whatever's happening in my life. When after a long break from recipe songs, here comes the first one from the city of Bangalore, featuring a dish which, according to a wiki, originated in the Mysore Palace and remained a secret recipe confined within the palace walls for over a hundred years and then took another 200 years to spread out across the state of Karnataka. I'm going to go to explore this dish from Bangalore. So give me, give me some more. Easy, really, but. Mmm, easy, really, but. Let us make the busy belly bath powder. Chana dal, ura dal, chili, coriander. Fenugreek, cumin, cinnamon, and clove. Cardamom, poppy roast on the stove. Cool it, cool it, add heat, turmeric, then grind to a powder. That's the trick. You can go the easy way and buy a ready mix Or make it like I did from scratch just for bits Add to tamarind extract With jaggery and salt for the next act Peasy belly bath, peasy belly bath Peasy belly, peasy belly, peasy belly bath Peasy belly bath, peasy belly bath Peasy belly, peasy belly, peasy belly bath Take tur dal and rice, turmeric, water, pressurize, then shallot, carrot, peas, beans, potato, tomato, small size. Heat up oil and fry the vegetables by and by. Add water and lightly boil. Don't let it become too dry. Add the tamarind mixed with spice. Let it cook. Add dal and rice. Stir it well and check the taste. Ensure the flavors balance nice. Temper he with chili cashew. He and mustard curry leaves few. Add to the mix and stir it well. Your busy belly bath is ready for you. Its taste is simple, wow, better than kitchen or pulao. So give me, give me right now, busy belly bath. Oh, busy belly bath. Mmm, busy belly bath. This recipe song is very special for my little niece, Sarah, who's been trying to sing her pishy songs after watching them on YouTube. Um, she, not only is she a good singer, she's also a good cook. Who is? My pishy. Bingaloo Benadi, Bingaloo Benadi, Bingaloo Benadi. Um, pishy, let me ask you, what is the name of that song? That was my adorable niece Sarah doing her version of Bengaloo Bengali and shooting for her pishi all the way from New York where she lives. Wherever in the world you happen to be in, I hope you will try this recipe out and let me know if you like it. I love how customizable this recipe is. I'm guessing that every household makes it in a slightly different way. I haven't used coconut or roasted peanuts in this for instance, which I believe almost everyone else does. It's also very easy to make really healthy versions of the Bisi Belebat. If you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, for instance, I would skip the jaggery or replace it with a low GI sweetener. If you're on a heart-healthy diet, I would skip the ghee, replace it with a heart-healthy oil. I would not fry those vegetables, but boil them instead. I also love experimenting with healthier rice alternatives, including millets, and I love using all kinds of different vegetables as well. I do hope you share the video, rate the video, subscribe to the metronome while I sign out of my studio in the Garden City. Take care guys, I'll see you again soon.